I'm Brian Vance from Sport Bike Track here, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Dynase Racing Leather Jacket. Let's start off with sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds, with a mildly athletic, somewhat athletic build. We're in a size 56 Euro, which would be a 46 US, in the racing. Front view, side, going for the controls, excellent mobility, very comfortable. Back, reach for the controls. Qualify all this by saying, I don't have a back protector in here right now. Remember, with the Dynase jackets, they do not come with any type of foam back pad or protector. Really suggest that you pick one of those up with the jacket. It enhances the level of protection that a great piece like this can offer. I think it's important that you do that, okay? Because it's got great C-certified stuff, elbows, forearms, and of course the stuff in the shoulders. That also changes the fit of the jacket a little bit because it adds a little thickness back there, okay? And that would really kind of dial the fit of this size 56 in for me even better, okay? I think for, for my height, weight, and build, this 56 is pretty, pretty good fit, no doubt about it, okay? It's going to leave the room for that back protector. It feels great when I have it on. I think it looks good. I adjusted the waist just a little bit, not a ton, just a little bit. This racing jacket is really, now we're starting to get into the range where this is what I think of when someone says Dynase leather jacket, okay? It looks great, feels great, it's made of cowhide leather, it uses their good S1 fabric. All, all the way down to the cuff, up here to the collarbone, underarm area, all the way down the side of the jacket. S1 fabric is tear resistant, it's abrasion resistant, and it flows air freely, okay? So, when you look at this jacket initially, it looks like a jacket, it's going to be pretty warm and not offer a lot of airflow. I would differ with that opinion because we've got two inlet vents right here, okay? We have also all this S1 fabric, arms, sides, and then there's some exhaust vents back here we're going to detail when we do the inside out of this jacket. The racing jacket has the ability to offer a solid amount of cooling. Perhaps not as much as a fully perforated leather jacket, but we're getting pretty close now, okay? We're getting pretty close. So this jacket is going to work well for multi-season riding, okay? If you have a little bit of room underneath it and you want to ride when it's cold or out, you can always add a base layer to enhance its cold weather performance. In the warm weather, keep your fence open, intake in the front and the exhaust. Don't wear any layers underneath. And it's going to keep the air flowing inside the jacket when you're moving. And it's going to keep you relatively cool, okay? Features, benefits. Standard cowhide leather, high-end S1 fabric, okay? Cool Dynasty logo. That's a leather overlay stitched on there. Here in the elbow and forearm area, you've got a large piece of leather. That's good protection, a high impact abrasion area. Got some energy absorbing foam here stitched in behind the leather to protect the upper arm. Cool Dynasty logo embossed there. We have the aluminum inserts. Those are nice, low coefficient of friction. You crash, they help you slide, they don't hook up helps prevent a tumble, which is definitely a good thing, no doubt about it. I like the styling of this jacket too. It's available in a couple of different colorways. The S1 fabric all down the side kind of bunches up nice too if you need to adjust the waist. It's not like you're trying to pleat up a bunch of leather. The S1 fabric's thinner and it pleats up easier. Stay tuned for the second part of this video. We're going to break this thing down completely. Okay, this, this is a nice jacket. You'll be happy with this jacket, no doubt about it. This is really, like I said, this is when you're getting to the point where you feel like, I just got a Dynasty leather jacket. This is a really nice coat. Stay tuned for part two. Okay, here we go with the Dynasty racing leather jacket from the inside out. There's really not a lot to take apart here, okay, because another protection from this jacket is removable. That's okay, though. We're going to give you a nice breakdown here. Start with the back. You've got the S1 fabric here as a motion panel back of the neck. That's nice. If you're on a sport bike, if you're in a tuck, you go to move backwards. This moves with you and it doesn't feel binding. It's not going to feel like you're being choked. We've got some embroidery detail here in the Dynasty logo. S1 fabric comes all the way up back of the shoulder blades. You can see here some additional energy absorbing foam is stitched in behind the leather protection here, kind of like in the, the rib area, right? Exhaust vent for additional cooling. Zipper, it's on both sides, right? It's just the zipper's kind of hidden by the S1 fabric, right? Right there in the leather. Base of the jacket, 
reflective insert right there. At night, headlights hit that, pops, makes you more visible. CE certified shoulder protection, it uses the aluminum insert, right? On the inside, we have a plastic honeycomb shell, and then behind that, we have energy absorbing foam. Okay, all CE certified, they brought a, brought a lot of different materials together here to bring you good, comfortable, efficient protection. We have energy absorbing foam stitched in here behind the leather to protect the side of the arm. Cool embossed Dainese logo. You can see the piping stitched into the leather here. Got a motion panel here in the elbow along with a reflective insert. In the forearm area, we've used a large piece of leather all the way down to the, the termination of the sleeve. It's good, it's very protective. The S1 fabric all the way from the collarbone down to the cuff, all the way down the side of the jacket. We've got air intake vents here, zipper, both sides. Storage pockets here, zipper, both sides. Dual snap, collar, kind of a Mandarin style. We've got a little Dainese logo, leather stitched over, looks good. Dainese logo across the chest. On the inside of the jacket, see we've got a leather lined collar. Zippered storage pocket here, left side, comfortable liner. This has pockets that accept the Dainese back protectors. It calls out the product description which ones fit in here. Remember, this jacket doesn't come with any foam. It doesn't come with any protector. We strongly recommend that you grab one when you grab the jacket to make sure you get the best possible protection when you're out there riding. We've got a full circumference zip to pants. Zips to many of the Dainese riding pants. We can help you choose the right one for your application. Of course, waist adjuster is kind of a combination of leather and Velcro. Right? We showed you a little bit of how that works when I had the jacket on. The way they've done it here, the S1 fabric pleats up nicely so you get a good clean line if you need to adjust your waist. All in all, what do we think of this jacket? It's a good looking jacket, right? A lot of the cool Dainese technology into this. It doesn't use the D-skin leather. That's okay. It's still nice quality stuff. This offers a strong amount of ventilation because you have the zipper vents, you have all the S1 fabric which free flows air. Okay, so this jacket's going to cool pretty well even though it's not perforated. Surprisingly efficient in the cooling department. Then of course you have the exhaust vents in the back. Air comes in the front, circulates through, escapes the back. So what happens is that heat and moisture is collected and then exhausted. Works to keep you comfortable. It's a quality product, no doubt about it, right? I don't know that I'd recommend this for the hottest of hot days, okay? But beyond that, for most of us, I think this is going to be a, a jacket you can ride for the majority you know, of your riding season. In the cooler temps, you could throw a little bit of a base layer underneath this to increase its insulating properties. That would allow you to use it then. Summertime, obviously, you wouldn't use any type of liner. Just ride it as is, okay? Get the vents open. Get the exhaust vents open. End of the day, this is a quality leather jacket. From Dine's, I'm Brian Van from SportbikeTrackGear.com.